This game has honestly changed me for what I think about games. It is, um, it is brutally hard. It's very unforgiving. And I never gave up on this game. No matter how many different people really gave up on this game because it was too difficult or too hard to beat, but that's what I like about older style games, is they are newer games don't even found to even offer, and that's a challenge. Most people can't even start to think of how difficult games are. You complain about your farm bill being difficult? Try playing this game. The buttons were slick. They worked very well. I never had a problem, you know, pushing any of the buttons. You know, the commands, once you hit them, they were instant. They were right there, they were done, and they were ready to fight for you. Ready to do exactly what you want to do. If you wanted to use the specials, you could press up. And one of the action, I think it was A or B, I can't really remember. It's been so many years since I played this. I think it was, uh, it was A. Sword. You just push it up and you just find many different items throughout the lanterns. And I've noticed that about the main 90s games, is that there's a lot of lanterns. <laughs> and a lot of different items in these type of games. But Ninja Gaiden was actually the first game that I know of, and come to find out I was actually right about this one. Ninja Gaiden was the first game to release motion cutscenes. And that right there, kids are just popping in their Nintendo and then popping in this game and then breaking out. Because this game had something that not many games had to offer, which was cutscenes. And yeah, you got your Final Fantasy, blah blah blah, this blah blah blah, text reading, yawn! This one had y'all had reading, of course, but not as much Final Fantasy. No offense against you guys, but just look at the footage. Look, you have different jumps, you have wall jumps, you really couldn't climb up, but you could grab onto the wall, and you could jump off, and you could have advantage on your enemy. And that right there was a pretty good deal for when I was a kid. The boss, oh, don't even get me started on the boss. I never knew how to beat this boss until I figured something out with this game. And most people don't realize it until it's too late timing. This game is all, all about timing. All about getting far enough from your enemy and inching towards him and hitting him and that's honestly how you beat him. But then there's certain parts of the game where it's just un very unfair. It, it, it's very unfair to be able to play this game and get so far and you just die. And, and you die over and over and, and it's your own fault. It's really your own fault. Why you die in this game? And, and you feel like an idiot, and you come to school, and you talk to kids, and they're like, listen here, I just, I don't know what to do, because this game's got me really bummed out. Don't worry about it. Kid comes over, shows you how to play the game. You really had to be taught how to play this game. So yeah, people made manuals about their games, but you had to be taught how to play this game watching the angry video gamer nerd I adore him I think he's amazing and he's he's taught me a lot about different games but Ninja Gaiden is a game that comes with soul Ninja Gaiden is a game that just makes you makes you want to be awesome and go around and slice stuff open and have a heyday with your enemies beating these levels and as you can see in the footage I'm actually very good at this game but I'm not the best this game is just very 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 unpredictable at first. You try to go through it and you're like, listen here, I just don't want to don't go through this because these levels are relentless and you keep dying over the same same part over and over and over. Like these dogs. These dogs, they come out of nowhere and they are ready to pack your stuff and send you all the way to Boston. I don't know. That's the most child appropriate thing I can think of right now when that just, just came out. Let's leave it in. Leave it in. No, edit it out. No. Leave it in. Whatever. This game had many, many sequels. Ninja Gaiden 1, Ninja Gaiden 2, Ninja Gaiden 3. And those are the only ones on the Nintendo. Then you got the Ninja Gaiden... Then they got the Xbox. And this is my big problem with games. Is, oh, number 1, 2, 3! What's number 4? Oh, it's called Ninja Gaiden. But this one's called Ninja Gaiden. No. Just see? Unforgiven. Yeah, no. I don't care. I don't care. And yes. Yeah, I know. I know. But I'm gonna be completing this game for you guys to show you that it's not, not impossible. Not impossible to beat. I've done it. Once. 
<laughs> Will I this time he gets stuck in me in times and start ranting and raving about how it's so hard? Yeah. The first part I just wanted to introduce the game. I didn't want to, you know, do the reactions or the And I'm actually gonna release this one very, very early because I wanna get started on it. I really wanna get started on this game. But part of the problem is that I recorded my my mic decided to mute itself throughout the whole entire level. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get Audacity up on my computer and record it that way. Yeah, finally got the, um, what's the thing, thing, thing called again? It's a recorder system. It's an old AVG recorder and I borrowed my dad's Nintendo and borrowed Ninja Guide and just recorded the gameplay. Try to do the audio, but it just that's fine. The, the, the audio, the video is crystal clear. Like it came right out, right out of the, it came right out of the box and just looks amazing. It really does, and I'm very happy with the music. Didn't cut out or anything, and it's working off of a video audio while you got it. Cable that goes straight to the HDMI. Yeah, I didn't think they made those, but apparently they do. Really. Start being doing a review of all old games. And what I mean by that is I'm going to go based off of Nintendo games. Yeah, that's right, children. I'm going to be doing daily videos. Daily. I'm going to record them ahead of time. I'm going to get them planned, get them scheduled, get them done, get them through, and they're only going to be like 10 15 minutes because honestly, there's not really much to talk about these games. Unless it's a special video. So, just to keep you guys up to date, we are at. <laughs> We have gone through the roof in subscribers. We're 82. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you all. Thank all of you. You're amazing. You, from a channel that went from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, and that was a big step because I was really excited about getting all these subscribers, getting all my old ones from my other channel back that I lost because, you know and all that junk, but I got this one, and you guys supported me throughout the whole entire deal, you told me, you know, what you wanted me to do, and I got massive amount of emails, so massive amount that my wife said, listen here, you need to turn off your notifications, I'm tired of hearing that song all the time, when your phone goes off, you know, I appreciate you guys, I really, really, really do, and as my present to you, on my hundredth episode, I said it right that time, Woo! my 100th episode, I'm going to release a big montage. I'm going to get some of the best moments out of all my videos and compile them into one as a timeline and a thank you present to all of you. And, as another thank you present, I have Xbox Live. I have been playing some games this very often and I will show you, give you updates when I do. My gamer tag is Shalomist99. If I ever do get a PlayStation, which I'm not down for getting a PlayStation, I like PlayStation. If I ever do, I'll sign up an account and I'll get a live with them as well. What? Good news, even better, guys. Good news, very, very good news. I am actually getting partnered with Microsoft. So, guys, what does that mean? That means that I will be making videos, like I already do, making videos and actually getting paid for it. Now, no offense against you guys, I just like getting paid. Now, I'm still going to be making videos for YouTube. Oh, where am I going to be uploading these lovely videos? To YouTube. I get early access to certain games I've been playing. That's just about what I'm told. It won't be a 100% fact. But, it will be happening in this June. So, it is a while away, but my birthday is July 16th, so you might just give me a birthday present and hire me so I can start doing videos and stuff. Make money, you know. But we may mainly stick to Nintendo, and this is just the start. This is just the start of what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to beat Ninja Gaiden. If you want to play the second one, I will be more than glad to play the second one. The only problem is, is I actually don't own that one. So if you want to, um, donate, you know, send me the game. I'll, I'll be more than glad to. 
I just have to find a, an address or something and accept it. Yeah. It's, it's, trust me, I don't want a bunch of you showing up at my house going, Hey, I want your autograph. Uh, I'd be more than glad to, but not at 6 o'clock in the morning. Sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to go away for a couple minutes. I'm going to have to get some sleep. But yeah, I mean, we have to, we have to uh, figure something out with that. But, like I said, I may have a donation channel as soon as I get more subscribers up. And you want to donate to this channel, you're more than welcome to. I just, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate even what you guys do. You watch my videos, you share my videos. And I may not get a lot of views, but one of my subscribers told me, Well, Brennan, you're, a lot of your viewers are downloading your videos and watching them offline. I said, oh, that would make sense. Right? Yeah, it really does. And even, you know, the ones who email me telling me you because you're awesome and amazing. Even in the comments I've gotten from multiple different bigger channels like myself. Bigger channels than me is what I'm going to say. I'm just so... Great. was the point. Yeah. Oh, and um, another thing I've been noticing. A lot of you are becoming pro-tabby. I don't like it. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, if you don't know what pro tabby means, apparently my sister shows me a bunch of different videos where she says Brandon's stupid, Brandon's an idiot, Brandon's annoying, and she does this a lot as, as the internet says, trolling me. She does this a lot. Oh my god, she does this a lot. So, for all you pro tabbies, and you still support me, I appreciate you. I really do. Um, also, me and my friend Ryan are probably going to be playing Battletoads again. Um, <clears throat> the last time we did this, we uh, were playing at a friend's house, and he recorded with uh, Bandai Cam. Now, there's a good question why that shows up as Bandai Cam at the top screen. Well, what he didn't tell us is he says he owned the game. So, I do apologize. That's why the video was removed, because of copyright reasons. He was using an emulator, and I didn't realize it, because he had it hooked up to his computer, and he had the Nintendo out and everything. He really lied to me game about his name, but that's that's part of the reason why I don't hang out with him anymore. It's not Ryan's fault, it's just the other guys. So, so yeah. That happened. That's, after that, I just <laughs> I don't understand how aggravating, how aggravating that actually can be when someone lies to you like that. They could potentially make you lose your YouTube channel. Emulations are very, very wrong. A lot of people are like, oh no, it's better than playing the game. No. Want the game? Buy the game. Own the game. Make the video about the game. Nintendo will tell you that. A lot of people say that you can play the game through a browser. Don't do that. At least give the owner credit. Hell, you could buy a uh, Retron 5. Oh yeah, Retron 5. That thing is amazing. A Retron 5 is a system that plays Nintendo. Super Nintendo, Sega, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, Sega Mega Drive or something. That blew my mind. It's 98 bucks on eBay. Uh, it goes for retail 149. It's worth it. You can use your original controllers in it. And you can use um the one that comes with, which is Bluetooth, which is very nice. And uh, it actually comes off of HDMI cable, so that's uh, that's plus. Because oh, you know it's not a supplement for um, a Nintendo or a Super Nintendo or a Sega. You know, it's just an option to use. And trust me, it's going to be my supplement because I'm going to be using that like a madman. Will I eventually own all the systems? Yeah, of course. Why not? I'm going to have a room just like a angry video gamer nerd. Oh. I used to be angry video gaming Nintendo nerd, as angry video gaming nerd, so <laughs> he's updated the channel name. Um, but yeah, if you did not know, and I, I, I would hope you know, my name is Brandon. And for all the new viewers, thank you. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. You could have subscribed to anyone. You could have subscribed to Markiplier or, you know, Let's Play. Yeah, the Rooster Teeth guys. Eh, trust me, I'm subscribed to them. I like them. I think they're amazing. And I get it. If you want to, you know, hop over there and 
say hi to them? Go ahead. Say, say hi. But remember, Dumpster Man's actually a true friend. Dumpster Man's a leader for you. I'm kidding. No, I really don't care who you subscribe to. I'm just grateful for the fact that you've put me over the thousands of gaming YouTube channels to subscribe to, and it really means a lot. You don't understand how giddy it makes me to know that you guys show your support and that you are there for me. And you support me. Oh, good lord, I had a... <laughs> I had a guy um, on the internet state that I'm an idiot, that I don't know what I'm doing, that I sit at home all day and record videos and waste everyone's time and don't even upload the videos on time. Oh, I don't remember his name, but you know who you are. He came on that website, he saw what he commented and said, Brandon is a very hardworking man of two children, actually, well, one children at the time, one children at the time. And he says he works at a call center for at and Yes, you do know this. If you don't know, you know now, so hey. Works at a call center and works his butt off and records videos to entertain us, so you need to stop. Oh my goodness, I I went to the guy, I commented, and I said thank you so much for the support and the backup that you uh, gave me. It's, just, it's awesome to know that no matter, I was bullied as a kid. Bully, 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 bully. And I was pushed around, I was shoved, and I was pushed down, and I really had no one to defend myself. Defend for me. And I had to learn the hard way that no one was going to give two shit about you.